Damn! I was hoping you guys might be able to do a carnage like that for me. I like big features. Go argue with the unemployment office. Your job is to make me happy. Oh, I feel shitty! Most people look at a stump, they see a stump. I see opportunity. My name is Steve Blanchard, and I'm a master chainsaw carver. Creating killer wood sculptures is my business. Together with my right-hand man, Pete Rieger, our apprentice, Ryan, and some of the best saw dogs around the globe, we always find a way to get it done. Eat, sleep, carve. It's what we do. That's it right over there. Steve reeled in a big project this week. It's a doubleheader. Celebrity chef Gordon Martin is interested in commissioning a piece for his Go Fish restaurant. Chainsaw dudes, thanks for coming along, man. Let me show you what I have in mind. As we're walking up to the restaurant, I can see that it's not really wide, but it has this big window. We normally do some really big stuff. I'm not sure it's gonna be a real great fit here. Ah, oh, damn, it's a little nipply out here today. Okay, coming here to do a little carving for me? What do you need, man? I need a mermaid something erotic and exotic. I was hoping you guys might be able to do a carving something a little bit like that for me. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. okay, then we got the right guys. Well, you talked about something else that you were interested in as I well do have another phone. restaurant. It's another seafood restaurant. It's down at the wharf. It's right on the water, so I've got a fair bit of space. You're talking Fisherman's Wharf. I'm talking Fisherman's Wharf. Let's go downtown and let's get this thing done. Let's do it. I gotta lock up. Check it out. This is my second Go Fish location. This is the original one on the wharf. And look at this expansive view. Oh, yeah. This is just, like, outstanding. Awesome. So what I'm thinking is I want a table that's going to basically hold about mm, sort of 20 people that's, like, sort of gargantuan, something monumental to bring Fisherman's Wharf to life. OK, so you're talking, like, 24 feet. It's pretty big. Oh, don't tease me. Okay, this is like 24 feet right here. This table is absolutely massive, and there's going to be a lot of complicated carving. Now, you got to tell me the money thing and be a kind sir on this one, please, gentlemen. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be right about there. Right about 110, there. 110,000. 110,000. But 110K for the two carvings is priced correctly because, man, we have our work cut out for us. So, it's a deal? I think we can swing it. Let's do it. Mm. It's a deal. Renowned chef Gord Martins commissioned us to create a communal table for Fisherman's Wharf and a mermaid for his restaurant. This is big budget stuff. We've got this great curvy feature of a woman, a sensual woman with great big features. I like big, big features. We were able to catch Chester Armstrong before he got too far out of town. We're bringing him back to give us a hand on this one. My approach to sculpture is it's kind of a one-man band going for the gold and reaching beyond yourself continuously. That's what art is. But if we start with a curved line here in the shaping of this block of wood, I want to create the symbolism of what a mermaid is, the two opposites, her opposites being human and animal coming together as one. They wanted about five feet, but I just don't see five in there. OK, here we go. Normally, here it would take a week, two weeks, a month. But we have four days of which we have to, you know, get into the right zone. We got six and a half, Ryan. Yep. So that means the dolphin is pretty much centered on this side, the hair coming out well, here. We're definitely going to start with this design. And the second part of the commission is a communal table. Mark will be doing the centerpiece of it. Go for it. Gonna show Steve what I can do. Last time, me and Chester worked on a pro well, Chester worked on a project. I just kind of watch. This time, I got my own zone. I'm gonna hit it hard. Six and a half foot tall is gonna be huge. We're gonna make this definitely look like some kind of a dock, almost like a story of Fisherman's Wharf. So a seal and the herring and the crab, maybe octopus tentacles coming up around the pilot. We need a big chunk for you, and we need a couple smaller chunks for you and I. Let's get going. Do you know how to run a saw? Have you run one of those before? We'll find out, won't I'll we? I'll show you how to start it, OK? <laughs> we'll find out.
I would say the fact that they're doing their project separate from me doing my project is going to create a distinct difference in style and execution. The difference between Chester and Steve is that Chester's just, who cares? It's time to cut it. 100 miles an hour, man. You know, there's a little bit of, like, tension going on between the two. Skip likes to take these great big risks, and it's an incredible style. I wish I could do that. But I like to whittle because you can't put it back. So I go around and around, and I take off the pieces that I dare to take off. Chester, he just gives her. And I really don't even know, like, if he knows where he's going half the time. And sometimes I worry that that could backfire. Oh, f That's a lot of rot. This is one of those dreadful situations that an artist finds himself in. He's made first cuts and then to discover that there's a big pocket of rot in the wood, right where he needs a big chunk of good wood. Damn! I heard Chester's piece has a big chunk of rot in it. I suggested that he cut at the bottom and make sure, because he didn't want to do it. He wanted to just cut into it and find out where it was. I'm not so sure that was the best technique. It's just gone. The wood's gone. Just a big pocket of rot in there. We're in trouble. I was hoping you guys might be able to do a carving like that for me. Renowned chef Gordon Martin has commissioned us to create a communal table for Fisherman's Wharf and a mermaid for his restaurant. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a lot of rot. Damn! We got to find out right now if this is salvageable or if we can it. Chester okay. had a huge rot spot. I heard he threw his saw, which is probably not a good idea. It's not good for his image. You know, the Zen thing and all that. The wood is forcing us now to rethink the plan. We're going to have to cut back the wood, get rid of the rot, so at least I know what I got to work with. You do not want to look at a mermaid that is out of form. The piece demands so much perfection and execution. It's always a new plan. Think of this. High here, chest out, uh -huh. body curving away underneath. All right, we're on it. I think we got a salvage going on here. It's pretty cool. He's letting me help out with, I guess, the shaping of the bottom of the piece and also, like, get away a lot of the rough rot that's still there. He thinks he's in the big leagues now. He's with Chester Armstrong, world famous sculptor. Ryan's been carving all of four days in his lifetime. Put some chaps on. Skip really likes having Ryan around because he can tell him what to do and Ryan doesn't mind it. But my concern is that Ryan is in danger with this guy. I'm not gonna get in the way of his blade because he's a freaking wild man. You stay away from him. I'm trying. <laughs> That's a prehistoric beast right there. The big lips and the bug eyes. I'm going to work the body around this way, get a nice S curve to that fish. And I'm going to do the tail right about there. So it's all going to flow down to that big, ugly cod face. Pete's got his piece going. Steve's got his piece. I got my piece. Keep my cuts as clean as I can so I don't have any overcuts. Quite a bit of different style than Chester's. We're going to beat up on Chester this week. We're going to take the boy down. I just cannot believe our good luck. The rot that we have been trying all day yesterday to get rid of. The last of it was right between the cleavage. What a gift from the heaven. Dude! What do you got going here? We're trying to find the shape in here. We're not blocking it out like some people over there do. Ryan's holding it up for you? He's got function, finally. He's happy he's got a function. 
Chester, you're out of oil. I'm too busy working oh. on the piece. I just got to keep the focus going. Did you want me to run into town and get you some glue? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's looking good, though. All right. Stay alive. Thanks for all the positives. I hope you really met them. I just sent Ryan up to the house to get my truck. I'm going to send him into town. He can get some crabs, and we can have a crab feast, and that'll keep him out of Chester's hair as well. This is the point when it's far enough along that there are not a lot of options left for me. When you take subtractive sculpture in its essence, you're eliminating options as you go. And if you haven't made the proper cuts or seen the full dimension of it, you lose. Skip's been having a little difficulty with the form on his mermaid, so he's brought his wife Anastasia in to do some modeling for him. It's really great to have Anastasia here, because she has a really good eye, and she doesn't mince the words. What do you think? I, I kind of screwed up, didn't I? I think you did. You have this piddly little flipper. How does that get that mermaid through the water, realistically? Back with the crabs, huh? Yeah, sorry I'm late. I rushed back. They are in here. And what I'll, do you mean uh, they're in there? I mean they're in there. You're... Oh man. What were you driving like a madman or something? You couldn't keep them in the bucket? Get in there cleaning things out. Oh, look at that mess. Poor little guys. Whoa! <laughs> I stepped on one! You guys are jerks. <laughs> This is a little awkward to me. I want to know how I can clean up these shoulders. They're too massive. They are. And I got I to gotta figure on how I'm going to do that. Let me just see. I can't get the piece to your scale. She's, she's, well, a, I know she's that, a size and a half. Watch out, babe. Whoa! Oh, no! no. It's the worst. It's like a death. It's a deal. Chef Gordon Martin's commissioned us to create a communal table and a mermaid for his restaurant. Watch out. Whoa. Oh, no. no. I saw it. I really don't know what happened. It was just kind of a blur. We couldn't hold it, and it went down. And it just busted up, and it looked dreadful, and I was just feeling the absolute pain and anguish of it. Oh, man. How the hell did that happen? She did the backflip. Who's got the screws? I'll get some screws. Yeah. Cost me money here, man. That's all I'm going to say. OK, only say that. Don't say anything more. Do we need, like, a handful of screws or a whole box? <laughs> <laughs> OK, going in. Got going it. Going in. Glue it on parts, why don't you glue on a tail? <laughs> Say it. You need me. Say it. I need you, Mark. Excellent. Yeah. Good to go. God made glue for a reason, and by God, I used some there. Pretty stylized piece, right? I mean, it's art, not taxidermy. It has to be understandable. I think it is. OK, that's where we differ right there. Sure, I could carve you a cod. Look exactly like a cod, a dead one. It's like the neck and the body is two pieces. It doesn't make sense. 
I mean, I don't know, maybe you don't stylize things very much. Well, I stylize things, but the lines have to work. He can say, well, I do whatever I want, I do whatever I feel, all that. It's all bull that has to make sense to the eye. He needs to listen, he needs to humble himself and take a lesson. But remember, it's stylized. Right? I understand I mean, the know? stylized thing. You get through that at me about 30 times. If I'm going to add, I'm going to add a piece that really goes out. Don't you think if she's moving, then don't you think some pieces are going like this and some pieces are going like I totally like that? agree with you. It I was in discussion this, here this there, morning with everywhere. my model turned mentor, and we've decided that there's a real limitation to the hair. This hair would integrate into this hair, and it would all look like the same hair. It needs to extend itself out past where the log was. The only way you can do that is cut and paste. Oh, here's a cool solution. This is part of the original wood. The initial rot, that section exactly became the potential for the hair. What's the deal of that, you know? OK, you want me to hold it and you screw it in? Hurry! The mermaid has grown today. Now we have this beautiful, energized hair that's just blowing the piece in another dimension. If I just get but the- But don't get the... any more off of here. I went over there and checked on Chester's carving. The original doing? carving is supposed to be oh, five by three that's for the restaurant. Not... This thing is getting that's like six by awesome. six. He keeps adding pieces onto it. That's where you need it to. You kind of want to comment, but he's already got somebody over there criticizing him. Why don't you stay? You go. You guys decided what you're going to do about this piece? I mean, it'd be easier to just do a new one than it would be to try to fix this yeah, one. right. Easier to do a new one. Yeah. I've worked three days on this thing. I don't, I don't care if you've time. worked a week on it. Your job is to make me happy. You want me to make a whole new car? You don't have to do it. I can get Mark to do it, or I'll do it. That's all right with me. You're you the one that decided to do a stylized piece. You are here every day. You want to argue with me about this, Pete? You can go argue with the unemployment office. Your job is to make me happy. You want me to make a whole new carving? You want to argue with me about this, Pete? You can go argue with the unemployment office. OK. Yeah, I'll just start a new one right now. You got a piece of wood for me? Holy smoke. Put out the fire. I thought maybe they're going to go to blows there for a second. We got half a day left. Steve finally decides that my piece isn't going to work. So now he wants me to make a new one. He's the boss. I don't want to do another carving on this piece any more than Pete does. Pete's working on a post with a net on it, and I'm going to do a post with an anchor on it. It's been a battle with this particular piece in many, many ways. But in addition to the hair, I added a little to the tail, balanced out the top and the bottom, and voila, we got a great piece of art. Chester and his wife, Anastasia, I don't know if they realize it, but there's only so much space for that sculpture to go in, and the reality is they get too big for the space. long time since we cut it this close. We had to work all night to get this thing done. I've had like two hours sleep, totally bagged, but we got to install these pieces. It's cute. All right, Skip, you're in charge. Bring it on in, just like you're doing. I've heard this piece is spectacular. I want to see it now. Up she goes. Gord has no idea that the mermaid is bigger than it was supposed to be. So I have no idea what he's going to say. Now, you guys, I told you, stop That's arguing over this stuff. I don't even know you're talking about what's going on. The log made me do it. I can't say anything more than that. Gord, Holy sh Here we go. Look this at is that. the Check moment. It out. Holy f
And this is the water line. That's the water environment she's living in. Holy so it's smokes. not even the I think it went really concept. well. That piece of art did work on him. And I could see that. And that was so cool. Look at that, baby. Wow. She's a big girl. Dude, I would be honored and proud to have this in my restaurant. Yes! Honored yes. and proud! Yes. I can't believe the magnitude and the scope of work they've done. I'm going to put this in my restaurant, no matter how tall. It doesn't matter to me. I will move the ceiling. I'm putting it in there. That's it. This is a two-parter. What about the table? Have you seen it? No, I haven't Let's seen the table. Let's check it out. Oh, oh look at this smokes. guy. Get the whole scene in. Got a heron here, crowd. This is like a totally awesome addition to my restaurant. The table they've made for me down here at the dock, not only great for me, it's also great for my customers. We can do table dancing on here. We nailed it. They're going to be eating off this table for years to come. We want to see you kiss the seal. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, Gord, yeah. obviously, is just insanely in love with this thing. Let's do a group hug. We pulled it off. Client's happy. I'm happy. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. Hey, are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> wow. Here's to your future, Ryan. Thanks, man. And here's to your past, sucker. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob Alley.